Welcome to the Wild Zone. Now it's time for us to return to Lake Naivasha and see what is happening there. This area supports the biggest concentration of fish eagles in Africa. The food chain connects the algae with the flamingos, which filter it with that amazing beak, through to the fish eagles. Their population has carefully been studied for many years, an important indicator for the health of the two lakes on which so much of the life, human, plant, and animal depends. And that means water, whether you're a flower farmer, a fish eagle, a flamingo or a butterfly, or a local African. In Swahili, water is maji, as the song says. Unfortunately though, this water is a soda lake. Aloidian attracts flamingos. It's not so good for giraffes. On the other public side of the lake, the Maasai are allowed onto the green sward with access to water, which cattle will drink. Some say water is becoming a more valuable resource than oil worldwide and a likely cause of conflict. Here in Kenya, every drop counts for someone, something, somewhere. As the lake recedes, so do the hopes for a satisfactory coexistence. Caught up in this will be the wildlife, whose needs will hardly be a priority if trouble starts. Whether it's giraffes or kongoni just arrived, or the plants they depend on. Or whether it's the grass grazed by a hippo at night to become milk for her baby. Or cormorants that build their nests from water weeds. Their food, fish, too depends on the lake, though they prefer to collect that from nearby Lake Naivasha, which has a different kind of water. Delivery looks painful. It's well worth the trip. The huge numbers of pelicans show that. The pelicans fish in unison, and the opportunistic cormorants pick off the extras. But Lake Naivasha's water, which used to be crystal clear, now is not. Filtering papyrus plants have been removed from the shore and deforestation in the water catchment has caused silting from runoff. People certainly come to see giraffe and other game, but a water safari is quite popular too. With a little help from a friendly local guide, Isaac, whose job may depend on the health of the lake. He's concerned about the occupants, the fish and the fishermen, whose jobs are also on the line or in the net. There he comes. All right, next week on The Wild Zone, we will be exploring how the wildlife is faring on in Lake Naivasha. Hope to see you there.